Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And this is my second session after threat modeling. And in this session, we're going to discuss about SOC type, not security operation center. This is all about service and organization control and system and organization control. This topic is quite testable in CISSP, CCSP, CISA, CISM, CRISC. I received a lot of feedback regarding, could you please make some videos on this particular topic. So I thought, let me craft around 10 questions, which give you visibility about this entire concepts. My name is Prab Nair and for more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So let's start with the first coffee shot. Prab is a security consultant working for Aspirants Technology. They were planning to finalize one managed security service provider for their new business. While reviewing SOC reports of service provider, here the keyword here is service provider and security service provider, which report would you most likely to see? Okay, so question is talking about a business. The question has a keyword called security service provider. The question has a keyword called service provider. So option A, SOC 2, type 2. Option B, SOC 3. Option C, SOC 1, type 2 and option D SOC 2 type 1. Now if I go by the SOC 1, it is basically covered the financial statement. But in the question, we are not talking about anything related to the financial statement. They want to review the SOC report of the service provider and they are planning for a security services. SOC 1 mostly cover about the financial statement. SOC 2 type 1 can be the option. So let me park. SOC 3 is just a high level report will not build any kind of a confidence. So that is removed. B and C removed. So we left with SOC 2, type 2 and type 1. Type 2 is basically talk about the effectiveness of a control. If you ask me as an auditor, if you ask me as a security consultant, I will definitely go for the type 2 report because type 1 is talking about the design of control. So answer is yes. The answer is type 2, SOC 2, type 2 report. Now let's discuss another question. So question is, Prab is a security consultant working for Aspirants Technology. They were planning to finalize managed security service for the new business. Same thing again. Which of the following SOC report should a Prab request if they require a period of time report comprising a security and integrity of a particular system? So key three keywords are there. Period of time, security, integrity. Automatically SOC 2 is there. But let me check the options. SOC 2 type 2, SOC 1 type 1, SOC 2 type 1 or SOC 1 type 2. So we automatically park SOC 1 type 1 and SOC 1 type 2 because these are talking about the financial controls. So we left with SOC 2 type 1 and SOC 2 type 2. They're talking about the period of time. Now there's a small advice, a small suggestion, small tip. When we say type 1 or when we say type 2, Okay, SOC 1 has a type 1, type 2, SOC 2 has a type 1 and type 2. So thin line difference is that type 1 talk about the design of a control, which is point in time, point in time. Okay, where's the SOC 2 type 2 or SOC 1 type 2 talk about the effectiveness of a control of a period of time. So wherever in the exam talking about period of time, close your eyes and select the answer type 2 report. So here, we are talking about the period of time report, which introducing, introducing the security and integrity, not financial statement. That is why I'm going with the SOC 2 type 2. Huh, if the question talking about financial statement, financial control, then in that case, we can go with the SOC 1 type 2. Third question, Prab is a financial investor working with the Aspirants Technology Investment Company that makes an acquisition investment. As a financial investor, when evaluating the SOC report for managed security provider because they are planning for the investment in the company. So here in this scenario, we're talking about me as a prop. I'm, I'm, I'm a financial investor. I wish to invest in one company. So which report would prop most likely to examine? So as an investor, which report I will be examined? Definitely for me, SOC 2 doesn't matter because I'm planning for an investment. And from the investment point of view, I will look for the financial statement. So let me check the options. SOC 3, definitely no, because it's talk about the high level details. It doesn't give me any kind of a confidence. It is a published report, which is published on a website. SOC 2 talk about the IT. 
SOC 2 type and again talk about the IT, which report will be more interested for me is the SOC 1 because SOC 1 talk about the financial statement. So answer is basically SOC 1. Next, what is the thin line difference between the type 1 and type 2 SOC reports? Type 1 is control effectiveness. Type 2 talk about control design. Actually type 1 is control design. Type 1 only used in a SOC 1 which is not true. Type 1 is control design. Type 2 control effectiveness makes sense. Type 1 only used in a SOC 2 and type 2 used in a SOC 1. That is also not true. So answer is basically type 1 is control design and type 2 is control effectiveness. If you ask me as an auditor, if you ask me as a customer, I will definitely interested in the SOC 1 type 2 or SOC 2 type 2 because that talk about the control effectiveness. I want to give you an example of type 1 and type 2. We have a, we need to have a eight character password policy. We have seen in the documents they are following that is a type one audit, but we're trying to create a user with a less than eight character password to see the effectiveness that is called as a type two SOC, SOC, SOC two. So this is how we can able to see the control effectiveness. That is why the answer is C, C for Charlie. Which SOC report can be published on a website? Here the keyword is website. So it means it is accessible to everyone to gain trust. So on a high level, we can go with the answer SOC 3 because SOC 1 type 1, SOC 1 type 2 and SOC 1, they are very detailed report. We can't publish on a website as a financial statement. The report that we publish on a website to just give a high level overview about we are compliance with the SOC that is called as a SOC 3. Same like when you visit any facility and you can see the organization is ISO 27001 certified. Next. Prab is a security consultant working for Aspirance Technology. His company planning to sign a contract with the cloud provider and want to ensure its business continuity planning, it means talking about IT and information security measures are reasonable. So what type of audit might you request to meet the goal? NISA is specific to Middle East, NIST US standard, SOC 1 is financial statement, so we left with SOC 2. The answer is A, SOC 2. Because question has a keyword called information security, business continuity planning and the question talking about audit because you need to sign a contract with the cloud provider. So my company want to planning to sign a contract with the cloud provider. So I will be more interested in looking their SOC 2 report because I'm going to host my data on the cloud. Which audit report will be useful to check how well the company keep up the books of account? It's used in a finance. So NIST again talking about the IT. SOC 3 is basically high level report which talk about how much we are compliance with the SOC. SOC 2 talk about the IT controls, how effective is the IT controls. So we left with SOC 1. The answer is SOC 1 because it talk about the accuracy of a financial statement because book of account map with the financial statements. Second question, which of the following is not one of the trusted criteria of the SOC 2? We have a five trusted criteria. So let me check privacy. It is there confidentiality. It is there security. It is there. We don't have, which is called as authenticity. Answer is authenticity. We have a five trusted principles under the SOC, but authenticity is not one of the trusted principles. Next question, which report specified date and assure the description of a system is fairly presented or in accordance with the description criteria and that controls are suitably designed as on us of the specific specified date keyword here is specified date walkthrough of the controls and test of one is performed but there is no detailed testing it means effectiveness will not be there so SOC 1 is a financial statement but the here the question talking about specified date so SOC 1 need to have a category type 1, type 2. So D is removed. SOC 3 type 1 makes sense. SOC 2 type 1, but SOC 3 there is no type 1 and type 2, right? So SOC 1 remove, type 1 remove. So we left with type 2, type 2 talk about the effectiveness of a control, but there is saying that no detailed testing has been done. We just have a walkthrough of the control. If any question talking about the walkthrough of the control only, it means that it'll be talking about the design of a control. Okay. Because it is mentioned as a design as a specified date. So design specified date, no detail testing answer is SOC 1 type 1 because question is not talking about anything IT. This is talking about high level, the description criteria, which can be SOC 2 or SOC 1. That's where the answer is A. 
Prabh is a security consultant working for Aspirin Technology. He concluded one audit recently with the service auditor for his company. So Aspirin is primarily dealing with the data center, like me, my organization dealing with the data center, co-location, software services. And I'm working as a security consult consultant in the same organization. We recently complete the audit. Okay, so auditor has to produce the detailed report that include the description of a test. Keyword here is description of a test performed. It means past tense. The opinion will again cover the fairness of the description presentation, whether controls are suitably designed and if controls are operated effectively over the reporting period. Keywords are this. So what is the report he is referring here? So I am working as a security consult for aspirants. Okay, we have a facing an audit where we are expecting about the effectiveness of a control from the auditor in the reports. So SOC 1 will not be the answer because keywords are their data center co-location. So it is more from IT point of views. We are complying or we are going for the SOC 2 audits because we have a customer from that category only. Tomorrow you as a customer wish to host your data on my cloud. So you're expecting some same level of a controls because you're not bothered about my financial statement. You're bothered about how we maintaining a data security. So it's not covered under SOC 1 type 1 that is removed. So that is removed. SOC 3 does not have a type 1. SOC 1 type 2 no. So answer is SOC 2 type 2. Okay. So any question in the exam talking about cloud, okay, and you as a customer, you're looking for data security control, answer is SOC 2. You're looking for the long term stability, you're looking for to ensure their employees should able to pay their salaries because you're going to host your solution on the cloud, then from a financial stability point of view, answer will be SOC 1. So type 1 is a design of a control, which evaluate the report on the design of a control, which is point in time and SOC, SOC 1 type 2 or type 2 report is basically talk about the effectiveness of a control over the period of time. So there is an exam summary we have. If the question talking about meeting the compliance requirement, if the question talking about meeting a compliance requirement, which is a US specific requirement, then we will have to obtain the SOC 1 report. If the question has a keyword called financial statement, if the question talking about trust services, data center, software, cloud service provider, then in that case we can ask for the SOC 2 report generally available on the public website which is accessible to everyone then SOC 3 report if the question talking about the financial custodial services payroll then answer is basically SOC 1 report now SOC 1 report talk about the financial statement SOC 2 talk about the information technology SOC 3 is basically just talk about the high level how much we are compliance SOC 1 SOC 2 have a type 1 type 2 report type 1 talking about design of a control type 2 talk about the effectiveness of the control so this is all from my side. My name is Prabh Nair. You can follow me on Insta and LinkedIn.